Hi everyone, I am Regina, Mathematics Instructor for the last 15 years. Today my presentation is for all those students who are going to appear for the CBSE 10th board exam this year. And my topic is tackling CBSE 10th math. Let's move on to the slides. Mathematics. As you all know, mathematics is the queen of science. And it is very beautiful subject. And it is very fun learning too. And it's like a trick game, right? And you know, mathematics excels our brain and it is very good for our problem solving skill also. And some students like mathematics very much because they can score high in mathematics because they are excel in their basic foundation and also they practice well. The three key points of mathematics are planning, preparation and presentation. In order to excel in mathematics, you need a proper planning, a proper preparation, and an excellent presentation. Okay, these three P's are very important to excel mathematics. Let's move on to each point, planning. Understand the syllabus. Understanding the syllabus is very important because you must know the weightage of each topic and which all questions are important in each topic for which marks their questions will come in each chapter and all. And you must know the question paper pattern also. So understanding the syllabus is very much important before you start preparing for the mathematics exam. Follow a proper schedule. Follow a schedule which is very practical and don't follow a schedule that your friend is following because it, it won't be practical for you. So you should follow your own uh, proper schedule. And another one is formula book. For mathematics, formula book is very important. After you finish each chapter, you should write all the formulas in that chapter in a book. And also you should summarize the chapter also. But remember that we need only one page for each chapter. Don't write a lot of things in that formula book. We need a very small uh, summary for that chapter. Then revise regularly. Either you can revise weekly or you can revise monthly. Anyway, revision is very, very important. Otherwise, you, you will forget all the formulas and the formula book will help you to revise weekly or revise daily or before the examination. It will be very helpful for you to revise the portions. So let's move on to the planning slide. So the first point is plan sequential study. So, you know, if you are studying algebra, if you are planning to study algebra, then it will be always better to start with linear equation. After that, quadratic equation, then you can go to arithmetic progression. For that, the formula of one chapter can be uh, used in the another chapter without any confusion. Okay, so your study will be more easier. So, the sequential study is always important. Devote more time to the difficult chapters. If, you are, if trigonometry is difficult for you, then you start with the trigonometry. After finishing trigonometry, you go to the simpler chapters. Okay. Whenever you are planning, you plan from difficult chapter to the simple chapter for, you, for that you will get enough time for the difficult chapters. Then take breaks between the study hours. It is always important you take a short break between your study hours. Otherwise, you will get irritated or you will get depressed or you won't be that much active in studying. So take some small break, short breaks while you are studying. Then study in a distraction-free environment. Always be away from all social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, everything. Uh, that is not needed at this time. So always study in a distraction-free environment. It's very, very important. Let's move on to the next. For preparation, NCRT book is very important. You must solve all the example problems and all the exercise problems in NCRT book. And once you finish NCRT book, you can go with NCRT Exemplar. NCRT Exemplar you can download from the CBSE site. Once you finish NCRT book, all the example and exercise problems and all the problems in the NCRT exemplar book, you can refer RF Agrawal. Okay, in RF Agrawal, you can find a lot of problems in the board exam pattern. If you are satisfied with RF Agrawal, then it's okay. Otherwise, you can go to RD Sharma, but I suggest uh, till RF Agrawal is enough for any student preparing for CBSE 10th board exam. Okay, then once you finish, finish NCRT book, NCRT exemplar and RF Agrawal, 
you can start doing previous board papers. Okay, that you can start in the month of October and your month of November till December 15. You can uh, start doing or solving the previous board papers. 5 to 7 years or 7 to 10 years board papers, previous board papers are uh, in a forest for the board exams. Then allocate time to each section. How will you do this sample paper for the board papers? In order to solve the previous year's board papers, you have to fit 3 hours continuously without any break. You should do like that you are sitting in a board exam a hall and you are writing the board exam. Likewise, you have to fold this three hours paper in one sitting. Don't take any short break inside that. Okay. So, fold that previous board paper and always remember that once we get an examination paper, you should plan which section you should do first. So, allocating time to each section are very important. We know there are four sections A, B, C and D and section A is for one mark question, section B for two marks, section C for three marks and section D for four marks questions. So you should plan which section you should start first. Some students write from section D to section A and some students start from section A to section D. Once you start section A, you complete writing section A, then only you start the next section. But I always suggest you start with a section which is very confident for you. That if you are very much confident, in which section you are very much confident, you start with that section. But some students will be confident with all the sections, they have no problem at all. That students can start with section D because when we start with section D, you will get enough time to complete that paper. There will be no issue for timing. Okay, then let's move on to the next slide. Don't refer to too many books. Maybe you, your friends are referring uh, two or three books, your other friends are referring another four books and you are going to refer all the books. It's not a practical idea. So don't refer too many books and also do not try any new book at the end. Okay. Write the problems rather than read. In mathematics, it's very important to write the problem. Don't just read the problems. You should fit and solve the problems with paper and pen. Okay, then only you will get the confidence to write in the examination hall. Then study minimum four to five hours per day. It's not must, it's not compulsory that you should fit and study for four or five hours per day, but Always remember quality time is important than quantity time. You must give quality time for your studies. But minimum 4 to 5 hours per day is enough for all the subjects, not only for the mathematics. So if mathematics is difficult for you, you can allocate 2 hours to mathematics and half an hour to other subjects. Or if mathematics is easy for you, can, you can allocate 2 hours to the difficult subjects. Okay, let's move on to the presentation slide. Okay. Then presentation, a very neat presentation is very important as you know first impression is the best impression. So the first page is very important, it should be very tidy, very neat. So you start with a margin, draw margin at the right side, right side so that you can work out the problems there. Okay. So, drawing margins at the right side are important for your working problems. Then, write questions and sub questions numbers correctly. Always recheck that your question numbers and sub question numbers are correct. Put final answer in a box. For example, if you got the volume of corn is equal to 130 centimeter cube, then you have to write that in a box. Put that in a box. That is the volume of corn is equal to this much centimeter cube. Put that final answer in a box. Then write the answer in statement. For example, if you got the velocity of 30 km per hour, then you should write the required velocity of 30 km per hour or anything like that. Okay, write the answer in a full statement, full sentence. Avoid corrections in the first page. 
keep the paper neat and don't scribble if there is any correction or any mistake just put one line over that don't scribble over the papers write all the equal to sign in the middle so that it look nice draw diagrams and table of statistics using pencils it's very important don't use pen to draw any diagrams you must use pencils to draw diagrams and even for the statistics table also and uh, coming to the graph draw and mark everything neatly on the graph paper i have always seen the students won't write all the things on the graph paper actually you should mark the origin x and y axis capital x x dash y y dash if you are drawing a line write the equation of the line if you are uh, doing any statistical or frequency polygon or anything like that uh, give the scales given give the data in the x axis y axis everything all the data and everything should be neatly given in the graph paper then only you will get full marks for the graph let's move on to the next one pi as you know the value of pi is 22 by 7 or 3.14 if it is given in the question you can apply that value suppose use 3.14 if it is given like that then you can use 3.14 otherwise you can use as per the requirement of the solution sometimes 22 by 7 will be uh, more helpful for us to solve the equation or simplify the uh, answer for so use like that and check positive and negative signs writing unit was very very important as this is a mathematics paper so unit has got that much important and how to solve solving problem should be in a format then what is that format first you have to write what is given in the question given if it is given ab equal to 10 cm you have to write given ab equal to 10 cm then next you have to write what you are going to find to find what then formula which formula you are going to apply then the solution so always try to solve the problem in the format be careful while doing calculations leave one or two line at the end of each page for so that if it tear off it won't affect your writing if you stuck don't waste time leave some space and continue suppose if you know the answer very well but while you are writing it stuck don't worry you just leave some space and move on to the next question and come back after you finish all the questions okay don't waste your time anywhere at the end cross check the answers answer sheet all the numbers sub question for the graph everything you should cross check okay positive attitude more positive attitude and less anxiety leads to mathematics build your confidence you know 2 plus 3 is 5 because you are very much confident in that so if you are very much confident in the basic concept then there is no need to worry learn from mistake if you commit any mistake there is no need to worry just learn from it do smart work rather than hard work learn from simple to complex while you are practicing problem start with the simple problem then go to the complex problems whenever you have any doubts you can clarify your doubts with your tutor okay let's move on to the next slide practice if you want to get better in maths you should do more and more maths okay then while practicing you please remember all these things first one is zero error while you are practicing while you are solving any problem be ensure that you doesn't make any error in calculation and do the problems in maximum speed do different types of problems instead of doing same problems or same pattern of problems or same uh, type of problem uh, five or 10 or 20 problem same type instead of that you do problems different types different types of problems it's important find solution yourself then only you will get that confidence to do the problem the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics practice is the best mantra for mathematics no pain no gain thank you for watching if you need any sessions from 8th to 12th max please contact me on the given numbers thank you bye